Hey gang, Scott here, and today I have a tip for you in On One about brush styles. These things are overlooked and they can help speed up your workflow. I use uh, several of them in the local adjustments and let me show you what they are. Let's just dive right in. So here I've got this scene and I'm just about finished with it. I want to do a little dodging and burning on this area down in here. So I'd normally go into my locals, add an adjustment, and you know, start dialing things in, right? For a, for a, a burn, I might start with something around, you know, just a little bit of underexposure, and then just start brushing it in, right? So I'll brush it into the, the shadow areas here, filling this all out. Now as I get into this arena here, where I have the brighter parts of this nice yellow field reaching up into the area I'm dodging, I don't necessarily want those to get darkened. So I reach into the blending options right here, and I might protect my highlights just some, like maybe around there or so. And we can see the before and after effect of that dodge and burn. And for this particular dodge and burn, I'll probably also just increase the feather on the mask so that it smooths out the edges around where I've done my dodging and burning. A little sloppy with my brush strokes on this, but what I really want to show you is saving this brush as a style. So let me collapse this back down. We're here in the more area we have at the bottom, save new style. And I prefix all mine with SDP, Scott Davenport Photography, and this would be my burn brush. So I'll save that. Now what that means, let me close this out and delete that adjustment. So now I'm coming in to add this burn. I'll reach up in here. I'll just grab my burn style. And what just happened? The exposure got set for me. And also in the blending options, that protection on the highlights has been set for me. So if I'm doing anything with blending options or with the sliders, I can save all of those into a style. Masks are not saved with the style. That doesn't make sense because the style is really, you're tuning the brush for what you want to then apply. So now I can get in here, probably would zoom in before I started doing all my local brushing. And then I can get in here and start working through the darker areas of this shadowy part of the field. And we'll just do a little bit here so you can see the idea as I'm brushing through here. I'm being pretty uh, loose with my brush strokes and I'm letting that blending option take care of protecting those very bright highlights, especially in like grasses like this. I'm not brushing, I'm just circling. You know, now when I brush through here, there'll be a little bit of that dodging added there, but not a whole lot thanks to that blending option. So we'll zoom back out take a look at before and after and there we go and just a nice little accent like we normally do with dodge and burn but it's that brush style that is really useful to save a variety of things i've got ones for crispness for warmth for cool dodge and burn and they're really handy so look into those if you find yourself reaching for something in the local adjustments or something in one of the effects and you are doing it again and again and again Create a style, save yourself a little time in your workflow, and speed things up. That's the tip. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment below. If you got questions about photography, let me know. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.